I know that I didn't come here to stay. I didn't come to this earth to stay any more than I came to London to stay. I'm in process. So I do the best I can all the time. I may weep and gnash my teeth and wring my hands, but I'm gone. I am having a thought daughter summer, like for real. I cannot stop thinking and thinking and thinking. All I've been doing this summer is thinking, thinking about what I thought about, and then thinking about how much I've thought about the things I've been thinking about. It's endless. It never ends. I can't escape. I wish there was a way to put a camera in your mind with a microphone and track it. It moves so fast. It's exhausting. I'm not exactly sure how chronically online I really am. Sometimes I get afraid to bring up internet references because I can never tell how deep of a niche what I'm about to say is. Thought Daughter, though, is a pretty wide. I think everyone knows what's going on with Thought Daughter, but just in case, I'll explain it. Just in case, like real quick. Okay, so Thought Daughter originated from the public interview question where people go up and they say, gay son or Thought Daughter. That is not what this video is about. Thought Daughter came from Thought Daughter, and instead of thought, it's thought. It became a TikTok trend because people were insinuating that their parents messed up and chose a Thought Daughter when they thought they were choosing a Thought Daughter. This is straight brain rot but if it's making sense to you at least our brains are rotting together you know what i mean good morning we you and me are headed okay i Yep, I knew that was gonna happen. I was trying a new method and that's exactly what I get. Okay, give me a second while I figure this out. We are headed to the fabric store. Thought Daughters have Pinterest boards on Pinterest boards on Pinterest boards of ideas and art and shit that they wanna do, but they're never gonna do it because they're too busy thinking. I'm here to test a theory. Like, is a Thought Daughter, can she live up to her thoughts? <laughs> we'll find out. Back in my like spring, summer, glow up, wish list, vision board, ish whatever i talked about how i wanted to make my own bikinis this summer because i found a tiktok with a tutorial and it seemed so easy and i already know how to sew i just don't have the materials and the things so we're gonna head to a fabric store that i found and we're gonna try and make our own bikini i'll link the tutorial if you want to try this because i don't think i'm qualified to be giving this tutorial but the tutorial that she gave was so good she gave everything what a queen i forgot her name but like i said it'll be down below bad news the fabric store was so fishy. I showed up and there was a sign on the door that said they closed for lunch between 12 and 1. So I waited and I waited and then I waited a little bit extra more, you know? I like to enjoy my lunch too, I get it. Uh, I go up to the door, the windows are tinted, but I can see a giant something with like a tarp over it in front of the door. And I'm like, surely, what's going on? So I peek in the door, it looks abandoned. I mean, it looks like someone just made a huge mess and then left three months ago and they haven't returned. Really odd. So the bikini dream for now is on the back burner, just as she has been. Back to where she belongs, clearly. And now I'm like feeling guilty. I'm like, we were supposed to be making a bikini together. So here's what I can offer you instead in exchange for this loss of a crafty craft. I can show you a delicious summer sandwich recipe. Word on the street, all the daughters are eating this sandwich this summer. Okay, let's get to work. Good morning. I tried to tie my microphone to my shirt so that I don't have to hold it while I'm getting ready. So I hope it's working. Oh shoot, but I dropped my concealer on the floor. Okay, I got it. Getting ready to go to a cafe and edit. Nothing a thought daughter loves more than going to a cafe and just sitting. I think they have strawberry matcha. So wish me luck because it seems like I've been having a trend of issues whenever I enter the public sphere in recent days. Let's just hope no disasters occur. Is 
like, you know what? I don't want to get up. Only human things. I've been on the low key grinding. Okay, my poor, poor sketchbook has not been touched in a very long time. What is that? Oh, I forgot I did this. How cute. Aww. Wait, okay, maybe I have touched it a little more recently than I remembered. I love going on Pinterest and I have a whole folder saved. It's called Art I Want to Make. So let's pick one for today. Aw, this is a good one. It's very on theme. That's us. That's the Thought Daughters, you and me. I'm not gonna lie, this summer was off to a little bit of a rocky start. I had a little bit of a rough time settling into this transition I just went through, I think. But I don't know, this one just hit me a little bit harder. I think because this one was more aligned with my identity. Like I lost an identity with graduating. Really like a lifetime's worth of an identity. I've been a student. I've been in school since I was five. So like 17, 17 years, 17, 17, 17 years of an identity. You know what I mean? And it kind of hit me a little bit harder than I can admit I was expecting. So I was so down. Wasn't getting out of bed. So long story short, I kind of just gave myself the time and the space to just be so sad and cry so much. It was confusing. I was like, whoa, didn't expect to feel this. And I've obviously been prepared, you know, but it's weird how like, no matter how prepared you are sometimes, it just gets ya. It's definitely necessary at certain points of your life to do more thinking than other times. All that to say, I'm not suggesting that you seek activities and things like this in order to avoid difficult emotions to process because that will always come back to haunt you. It's kind of scary because also as a thought daughter, you can tend to get very comfortable alone. When you think about it, the same energy that gives you the ability to ruminate and it takes a lot of energy. I really think those thoughts have so much potential if you just know how to use it right. You know what I'm saying? Like there's ways to take that energy outward that can be very beneficial. So that's what I've been trying to do. And I hope that if you've been having a thought daughter summer as well, that you would take some time to at least think about because <laughs> you're doing that anyway. How you could maybe turn your thought energy into something a little bit more tangible. Here we are, back where it all began. Well, like the video at least. In bed, literally the sun is still out. But it's a reasonable time. Mm, I don't know, is it? It's 8.20. I don't know, a thought daughter needs a lot of sleep to maintain her thoughts. Do you know how much energy? Sorry if I'm talking weird because my face mask is drying as we speak. So I need to get all of this out before, before it's too late. I've been having a little bit of a mm, a peaceful wind down routine at night. Also, look at my strawberry robe. It's amazing. It's like a blanket. 
it has a hood and then I have my little like face wash mask which is like the same material it's like also a blanket but this one's cheetah I just I love a hooded robe there's nothing I love more than a hoodie and a robe all in one it's the best and in the last clip I was kind of talking about feeling alone as a thought daughter, you know, like sometimes being a person who thinks so much and often so deeply about everything around them, quite honestly, can be very isolating at times. So something that's been helping me and I want to show you in case it helps you as well. Um, I love to search up interviews typically from like the 70s or 80s television interviews that you can find copies of on youtube of prominent authors of those time periods like some of my favorites are james baldwin he has a lot of interviews and they're very thought-provoking a pretty popular one is let me look it up let me just show you that way this one is amazing for starting out a conversation oops let me just click on it. i don't know the best way to show you a conversation with nikki giovanni i know that it says i'm only 41 minutes in but trust me i've this is my like third or fourth time watching it it's just amazing they're just two thought daughters honestly sharing in their deep analysis of what they observe around them and that's so satisfying to watch because it feels like you're a part of it and it stimulates your own thoughts it's crazy Somebody else who has really good ones is Maya Angelou. I love her interviews and old Oprah interviews, like 90s Oprah has some good content as well. I don't know, there's something more comforting about it and because we're consuming so much modern media all day long, it just seems simpler, it seems calmer, but it's striking how relevant still a lot of the topics are. Maya Angelou has so, so, so many. Audre Lorde and it kind of lets you find some companionship in a way which maybe is weird considering like some of these people aren't even alive anymore but i don't know it's just such an interesting connection um to feel i would say the two most important times of the day for a thought daughter are the morning right when she wakes up and the nighttime right when she goes to bed anyways thank you all very much for watching i love you so much comment if you're also having a thought daughter summer so that we can all be friends that is all I have for you this time. Until next time.